It's a really exciting time for racket releases, and today we're going to talk about two new ones from Yonex, the Percept 100 and the Percept 100D. Alex, what was your general consensus on the 100 and the 100D on the court? So it was a really nice racket. I was, I was pretty surprised when you told me that the vibration dampening mesh got left out of it. But I think it was a good choice because it dampens it, but it doesn't kill it. So you still get really good feel off the ball without having huge vibration. Okay, um, talk to me a little bit about your game style. Like, What are you looking to do you put the first serve in the box, like what's kind of your go-to pattern? Like what are you trying to do on the court? Typically, I just stick to the baseline. I'm not a huge net player. Uh, so big, heavy, top spin shots from the baseline is what I like to do. I think this plays pretty well with that. Um, the 100D, I think, with the 18 by 19 string pattern helped with control for big shots that are kind of off balance or not right in the strike zone. So I like that. I don't think it lacks any spin. Despite what you said, it kind of deadens the spin for you. I didn't notice that really. I think the 1819 still provides really good spin, but it also depends on the player. Fair enough. Um, what would you give uh, the score as far as in power, 100 versus 100D? What takes the cake there? I think the 100 does give a little more power just because the string pattern does have a little more open and more springy. So if you want to hit harder or you need help hitting harder and you like this racket, the 100 is probably your better option. Alex, thank you so much for your thoughts on the Percepts, and we'll look forward to hearing from you on many racket reviews in the future. Absolutely. See you guys. So I'm here with Rodrigo, one of our biggest hitters on the playtest court, so we're really glad to have him here at Tennis Express. Of the 100D and the 100, which racket did you kind of uh, find yourself leaning towards? Like, which one did you prefer, and kind of give me an idea why? So I uh, actually really enjoyed playing with both rackets, but I would say I'm leaning more towards the 100 because of the string pattern. It's a 19 by, 16 by 19. I feel like that helped me create a little bit more spin uh, okay. compared to the 100D. Good feel, good control, and I would say the 100 uh, square inch head size helped me create a little bit more power, which made me feel really comfortable in the court. Talk to me about the 100D. I know it's not your ideal string pattern. Mm -hmm. um, give me your thoughts on that frame, and then maybe who do you think it would, it, it would work well for? Sure. I feel like I had a little bit more control than the 100, uh, but it's still pretty comfortable. I would uh, be able to generate uh, spin as well. Um, not as much as the 100, but it's still a pretty good amount or a decent amount. I think this racket will fit the best. People that want a little bit more control or are more control oriented, this is a pretty comfortable racket and you get a lot of control. Even with a 100 head size, you get a pretty decent amount of control. Uh, the string pattern helps a lot. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this racket to a player that wants to add a little bit more control to the, to the game. As far as the 100, which I felt like you were creating lots of spin with, who, who would you recommend that to? Yeah, I would uh, still recommend it to people that want to get more control to their game. But if you use a lot of spin, I would dec definitely recommend this, uh, the 100 because of the string pattern. It's very uh, easy to play, easy to swing. It's actually really good on the, on the arm. Based on my experience, I have a lot of uh, injuries in my arm. So I feel really comfortable with this one and don't think I'll have any problems using this one. So very nice, very good. nice. Mm -hmm. Rod Rodrigo, thank you so much for uh, joining us on this play test. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on future play tests and we appreciate the time today. Thank you, thank you for having me. I really enjoyed and check out the new person. So while the Percept models are the successors to the V-Core Pros, the name change makes sense. You get better feel for the ball with these rackets, and if you love the V-Core Pro, you're gonna feel more dialed in and connected to your shots with the Percept rackets. So for the Percept 100D, you've got 10.8 ounce unstrung weight, kind of that new 18 by 19 string pattern, 23 millimeter flat beam design, 100 square inch head. For the 100, 10.6 ounces, so a little bit lighter, same 23 millimeter beam, uh, 100 square inch head, and 16 by 19 string pattern for a little bit more spin and power. One big step up for the Percept 100 for me is the feel for the ball. You really are gonna get your money's worth as far as spin and rotation is concerned with the 100. During the play test, I felt like I got easy net clearance. The ball was jumping off the racket face and I really had to finish my swings to keep the ball in the court. So there's a lot of extra power as well. If you're looking for a more controlled frame, but you still want to play with some big spin and margin, 
I recommend the Percept 100. Players that are 4-0, 4-5, that want that net clearance, they play with heavy spin, they're really gonna appreciate what the 100 has to offer. As far as the 100D, this is a little bit of a new spec for Yonex. It's got that 18 by 19 string pattern, same beam design as the 100, but again, that heavier weight and more dense pattern. I think this one caters to a little bit more of an advanced level player that can create their own spin, plenty of racket head speed. They're looking for a frame that's more stable, yet fast enough to not get caught against a big hitter. I think for me, the 100D is my favorite between the 100 and the 100D. A little bit more stability, that 10.8 ounces is gonna do the better job against a, a more advanced player, somebody that's hitting the ball a little bit bigger. It's also gonna hold up better on the doubles court when you're moving to poach a, a return or trying to cross and put your opponent in jeopardy. All in all, the Percept 100s are a really good update for me from the V-Core Pro Series. These rackets offer that same comfort, but you're gonna get a little bit more refined feel for the ball. You're just gonna feel more connected to your shots. And again, that 100D is a new spec from Yonix, so make sure to check that one out as you haven't seen it before. I hope you enjoyed our racket review of the Yonix Percept 100 and 100D. For more information on the rackets and when you can get them shipped to your door, check out the info below. Thank you for watching.